So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. So, we've had some ice, and mostly ice, a little bit of sleet. And I've been cooped up for a couple of days. And I really like getting, always have. Ever since I was a kid, I like getting out outdoors. And I've been sitting in that house for a few days and I'm ready to sit outside. I don't care if it is cold. So I built me a fire. I'm gonna make some cowboy coffee. Later on, Miss Lori's gonna be making some, some, uh, I can't even think of what it's called. It's cold coffee, I guess. She's gonna be uh, showing you how to make some some coffee, iced coffee or whatever you call it. I don't even know what you call it. I don't. I I can drink it, but I prefer my coffee to be hot. What I've got here is my coffee on fire going. When I make my coffee, I put about four, uh, five or six cups. If you measure them, it'd be about roughly six cups of coffee inside that pot, and it's already starting to get hot. Normally I go ahead and when I do it in the house and I make this coffee every single day because I take it to work with me and I have my coffee after I get off my bus route. Uh, so what I put to five or six cups of water, I put roughly a uh, heaping helping quarter cup of coffee, sometimes just a little more, but a good quarter cup of coffee into that five cups, five, six cups of coffee, or water. <clears throat> and I'll stir it just a little bit. And this coffee, this, this is done starting to boil. I'm getting the camera set up and it's done. Done getting hot. Starting to boil. I'm gonna move it off of it just a little bit for a second. And she done got hot. It didn't take long, that fire's hot. Usually on a medium low heat inside the house, uh, it varies. When it first starts to boil, uh, sometimes it wants, it'll climb plumb out of that pot, even though it's half full. So once it starts to boil, you can stir it down or and sometimes it'll just start churning, boiling, and and it won't even come up over the top of it. It just varies. Uh, <clears throat> I started drinking this coffee like this a few years ago, and I, I personally don't want it no other way. A lot of people think that, you know, oh, Mr. Brown, that coffee's so stout. No more coffee than I'm putting in there. It's really not that stout. And I have a little thermos that holds... Uh, basically what I put in this pot, I have I have a little thermos. And I put me about a quarter cup of sugar. I like just a little bit of sugar in my coffee. And sometimes I drink it with cream. Uh, and when I get off the bus route at work, I have my first cup of coffee. I do it every day. And I'll drink that coffee. If I don't, I, a lot of times I'll drink two cups, especially during the winter time. And then I'll drink, I'll finish it off that little thermos keeps that coffee hot most of the day. And uh, I end up drinking usually what I make every day. And I tell you, it's really good too. If you come in, you got a little bit of it left and it's just barely warm and you want to pour that over just a little bit of ice cream. Man, that's good. And I don't need to be doing that very often, but I do occasionally do it. You can see it's still below freezing. You can see my breath out here. 
Things have started to melt. The sun's trying to shine today. And this fire feels good. I spent a lot of my life getting in my eyes. I've spent a lot of my life outdoors uh, growing up. And uh, I don't understand why that smoke always got to follow you. It don't matter where you sit. So his coffee's been boiling for about five minutes. I moved it over to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it. We're going to let her sit for a few minutes. I've run this out here. This is this is a size thermos that I use. Uh, it's this thermos that I bought at Walmart, uh, Ozark Trail or something like that. And that little old thermos has really uh, been a good thermos. It'll keep coffee pretty warm keep it hot most of the day and then it'll get warm every time you set by fire you end up getting your eyes burnt don't you it can be blowing over there and i'll move over there and it'll blow right over on me so that coffee's been sitting long enough i'm gonna pour me a cup of it Miss Lori's going to be making some of that iced coffee. You just pour this slow. You take that lid off. If I don't, I'll dump it. Just pour it pretty slow. And you won't have to worry about them grounds coming out of there. Boy, that smells good. Let me tell you, that smells good. You might get a little ground in there, but it ain't going to hurt you. And I like my coffee hot. I like to sip that coffee. Boy, that's some good stuff. Well, you got to spend a little time out in the cold weather. Like I say, it's just barely getting going to get above freezing today. It's far, it feels good. The sun's trying to shine. I guess next week we'll be going back to work. I've had a few days off with school and can't really get out and do nothing. So I thought I'd come out today and make me some coffee and bring you along. Hope you've enjoyed it. We love you. God bless. So I say Mr. Brown made y'all some cowboy coffee. And I'm sure it was really good. And he really don't care for my foo-foo coffee, but that's okay, because that leaves more for me. So now I'm going to show y'all how I make my iced coffee. Um, years ago, I used to make a certain recipe for my iced coffee, and I would make a big old gallon jug of it, and I would keep it in my fridge, and that's what I would <laughs> drink every morning before I went to work. And I'd even take some to work with me. But uh, I'm going to show y'all the first step to getting your iced coffee going, and that is for your coffee concentrate. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight. There's just going to be a couple steps, and then we're going to let it uh, steep all night and concentrate, and then tomorrow we'll make our iced coffee. Okay, let's talk coffee. I'm going to be using... 8 o'clock dark Italian espresso. Now usually when they use espresso, and this is the beans, I'll have to grind these up, but you don't have to buy the beans. You can buy already ground up coffee. You can get the fine ground or you get the coarse ground, whichever one you like. Usually a dark espresso is used when you're making like a latte or something like that, but I'm going to be using this for my iced coffee. It's going to be good and stout. But you can grind it up. I've got an electric grinder and I also got a, just an old fashioned coffee grinder. Now, which one are we going to use? Probably the one that gets it done faster tonight. So, anyways, I want to show y'all what kind I'm using. Like I said, you can use whatever coffee you have, really. If it you can even now this is going to be a cold brew this is not a hot brew coffee this is a cold brew and i'm fixing to show you how we're going to do it 
And what it does is it, it just steeps all night long for about 12 hours while you're sleeping the next day. And uh, that's what makes your coffee concentrate. So I want to show you all what I was using. You can use fine ground, coarse ground, grind your own, whichever. You know, it's hard for people anymore to just go out and, and buy fancy coffees. So just use what you've got, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay, now I've got one of these old-fashioned coffee grinders. And it does work, but it does take a while. And I need a whole cup of uh, ground-up coffee. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is my, uh, what I use when I grind up coffee or my herbs. Of course, I always wash it good after whatever I'm using it. Uh, I want to show you all, there's beans in there. But like I said, this thing right here takes a while. So we're going to be doing it in the electric one. Okay, we've got our beans in here. Like I said, we need a cup. Now, you can see I didn't fill it completely up. Now, when you're grinding your beans in one of these little grinders, and I just got this at Walmart. Uh, they, most of them are pretty good price, and you can get up to really name brands and get into some expensive ones. But like I said, I use this to grind up my herbs out of the garden. You want to shake it. Now, do I want a fine ground or a coarse ground? I'm going for a coarse ground. Because tomorrow, when we go to uh, strain or concentrate, we'll be straining it through a fine mesh sieve and... Uh, if it's coarse ground, you won't have to worry about it going through your sieve. So, that's a fine ground right there. Let's see how much we got. That's about half a cup. So, we're going to put some more beans. It smells so good in here. It smells like a coffee house. And you can see, I'll show y'all, you can see how dark, whoops, get it up here, y'all see, you can see how dark those beans are. That's a, a dark espresso coffee bean. And like I said, they usually use this kind for lattes and stuff, but... Okay, I think that's ground up enough for me. That's good enough for some good coffee concentrate for our iced coffee. I'm going to get this out of the way. Get my jar over here. Now you can make this in any kind of container. This is a quart jar and um, what if you want to make you a, a half gallon or whatever you just have to get your measurements right this is two cups and remember this this is not hot water this is a cold brew just like you would do a cold brew tea so this is just room temperature water really just out of the tap not hot not even warm so two cups of water to one cup of your uh, coffee and you're going to pour it straight into that water and I'm just going to stir it a little bit and this is our first step of making our coffee concentrate for our iced coffee that is some dark stuff, y'all. 
<laughs> now, this concentrate would be like anything else that's concentrated. You will be adding, when you make your iced coffee, you'll be adding milk and just a little bit of water to it. So just get it stirred up pretty good. Put your lid on it. And just let it sit here overnight. About 12 hours is what they say for your best concentrate. So tomorrow we'll be coming back. We'll be straining our coffee and we'll make us some iced coffee. Good morning, everybody. Well, we're back this morning. I got some good sleep and I hope you did too. So our coffee has been steeping all night long. And uh, by now it's, we've been up a while and we've ate breakfast and gotten around and me and Mr. Brown's got a, another project going, which we'll show y'all as soon as he gets it done. <laughs> you know, we're always doing something around here. And uh, so it's been steeping plenty long enough. 12 hours is a, is a good time, especially with just regular coffee. But y'all know that I use the dark espresso, so you can see how dark that is. So my concentrate's going to be pretty stout. But I want you to look how pretty these dark espresso beans are. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. So what we're going to do now that this is steeped is we're going to strain it to get our really good, nice concentrate, coffee concentrate. If you were just using uh, regular coffee, not an espresso, like I said, it won't be this dark probably. And you're, you're going to use probably twice the amount of concentrate in your drink than I will because it's, it's going to be stout. But uh, either way, it's going to be good. I could have made it with just Danny's coffee. I didn't have to make it with the espresso. But when I seen that coffee, I thought, man, that would make really good iced coffee. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Used to, I just use whatever coffee Danny had, and uh, it was always good iced coffee. So let's get this strained and get us some iced coffee made this morning. Okay, what you're going to need is a really fine mesh strainer. And I got this over by at Walmart where the coffee pots are, and it's a coffee filter. And you can see how fine mesh that is. Now you can use, this is about $2.50. You can use, if you've got just regular coffee filters, um, you can use a, a piece of cloth that's fine enough that uh, won't let none of your, if you're using fine ground coffee, it won't let none of it go through. But I'm going to be using this. And I thought about just using another quart jar and strain this. But I'm going to strain it in here just like this. I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to let that drip. And there shouldn't be any coffee grounds. Now, uh, with me grinding my coffee beans, I got it to about the right texture that I won't, shouldn't get any coffee grounds in there. Oh, it smells so good in here. It smells wonderful. Now you want to put this concentrate in a container and like I said you can double and triple this recipe if you want. You may be wanting to drink a couple of iced <laughs> coffees a day or maybe you got two or three people in the family that will make them you know during the day. So that's just up to you. But I just wanted to make a little batch for myself because I can always make more. And you want to put it in a container and I'm hoping I can get it in here. This is a little, sorry about that, this is a little glass milk jug that my friend Debbie from Texas sent me. She sent me a couple different sizes and I'm hoping that it'll fit in here because I love just to maybe keep it in the fridge in this little container and this will be my coffee concentrate that I use to make my iced coffee. And you can see I don't see any coffee grounds so that done a really good job. And I'll put my lid on there, and that's all there is to that. I'll go ahead and make my iced coffee this morning, and then the rest of this will go in the fridge.
Now, there's different ways you can sweeten your iced coffee. Of course, I'm going to do it in the most fattening way, of course. I'm going to be using sweetened condensed milk. And since I don't use a lot of it, this is how I store it. And then I'll put the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator with my concentrate. And then, of course, caramel is going to sweeten a little bit. But you can use maple syrup. Um, you can use honey. If you have some kind of a sweetener that you use, just anything like that. But this is what we'll be using today. Okay, let's make our coffee. I got a fourth of a cup of my coffee concentrate. And I'm going to put, to sweeten it, now I didn't say anything about this being low in calories, that's for sure. I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm going to put my ice. First I'm going to stir that up just a little. You have to remember this is cold. This ain't You're not going to heat your coffee up. Stir that up just a little. And iced coffee is not going to be real dark. I'm going to go ahead and put my ice in here. About eight, nine, just like that. Then we've got about three-fourths cup of milk. Then we're going to gild the lily, and we're going to put a good two tablespoons of caramel. If you wanted to, you could put chocolate syrup in there too. Now, like I said, this is not going to be dark. But you, I mean, when I taste it, if the espresso is not enough, I'll put just a little bit more in there. Oh, yum. That's delicious. Now, if you like your any of your coffee, just really stout. You can put a little bit more shot in there. But I'm telling you, that is so good. And I know to the camera, it looks like a like a glass of milk, but it's not. And if you wanted to, when I buy them out, they always put whipped cream on top with just a little more caramel. But uh, you can see that caramel in there. This is delicious, y'all, and it's just enough coffee for me because I don't like it real stout, but I do like a good coffee, and this worked real good. But like I said, if it wasn't stout enough, I could pour me just a little bit more concentrate in there. So I hope y'all like this recipe, and like I said, it's not low in calorie, but uh, I don't drink these every morning. But every once in a while, you just, especially on the weekend, you just want a good iced coffee. And this is one of my favorite recipes. No, it is plenty fattening. But you can see that caramel, a little bit of the coffee on the bottom. You just swish it around like this. And you know, I talk about gilding the lily all the time when I'm cooking. But like I said, you could put whipped cream on top with a little more caramel. That'd make it extra special for somebody. But this is really good iced coffee. It's just enough coffee in there that I get that good espresso or coffee taste. But it's not too stout. The caramel, that sweetened condensed milk. When I first started making iced coffee, I used Pioneer Woman's uh, iced coffee recipe. Woo, that was a hundred years ago. And uh, like I said, I'd make it in a gallon jug and stick it in the refrigerator. And it consisted of sweetened condensed milk, too. But it was so good. And uh, this is just a little version 
of how you can make your concentrate. Now you can keep this in the refrigerator. It'll be good for about a, a seven days, about a week. But I guarantee you, just make it a little bit just like this and uh, it'll stay good and it'll be gone pretty quick. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Make you some iced coffee. If you don't like foo foo coffee, <laughs> make you some cowboy coffee. Mr. Brown, he loves that stuff ever since he started making it. He's never went back to making it the other way. Uh, he's made it on the wood cook stove, you know. Just any way he can make it, he's going to have that cowboy coffee. And when we get up, well, he gets up before I do. I'm laying there, and the first thing I smell is this cowboy coffee every morning cooking. Because, like he told you, he brings it, takes it to work every morning. And uh, he'll drink on it throughout the day. And even at night when he brings his thermos in he's still drinking on it so y'all have a beautiful weekend uh, looks like most of the ice is melting off here so we may be getting out today we've had a few projects that's kept us busy stuff done since we've been iced in so we ain't been taking not very many naps that's for sure <laughs> but it's what keeps us going guys I just want to say, let's, uh, let's pray for the world over. Love thy neighbor. Love each other like God loves each one of us. We love y'all. We want y'all to be safe. We want everyone to be safe. God loves you very, very much. So y'all have a beautiful weekend. Me and Mr. Brown will be back in a couple of days. Um, doing something. I'm hoping to start getting a lot of my, my seeds and stuff planted inside. Uh, there's nothing in <laughs> there's nothing in my greenhouse right now, y'all, except for let some leftover greens and lettuces and stuff that we eat on and some herbs and stuff. And that's about it. It's just not been good weather here. But it no matter. We'll get a garden out. We'll have plenty of vegetables. And y'all will too. So don't fret. Take your time. Enjoy your, yourself getting your hands in the dark when time comes, because I can't wait. God bless everybody. We love you. We'll see you in a few days. So, you made some iced coffee? Yeah. I wanted you to taste it. Probably not stout enough for you. Still good. It's a well, good. It's really good. It's a good drink. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's pretty stout. It's not real bad. Well, I use espresso beans. It's a good iced coffee. I thought. I know it's foo foo coffee to you. No, I mean really. I, <laughs> I mean I like it, but I, just, I like my morning coffee. But I could drink this anytime. Anytime. Well, that's good. You can have that one if you want it. That's good. <laughs> Tell everybody bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>